take a quick look at the injury report. Taiwan Deal, third string halfback, is out. So not really going to affect too much. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Flipper55 with Fat Finger Gaming, and welcome to Fat Finger Gaming's absurd 32-team college football playoff for the 2015 season. Today, Temple, the American winners, they won the American Conference with a win over undefeated Davy in the championship game. Wisconsin, undefeated going in, losing to Michigan State. So we'll see who wins it goes on to the second round. All right, here we go. Winner of this game goes on to the second round will play Florida State. I'm just going to assume it's Wisconsin, but nice stranger things have happened. They're about four yards away here on second down. Devils not only looking to win this one, but they could set some records along the way. I mean, that's secondary to the real work. First of all, you want to win the football game. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play looking to him to get the first. All right. First down, 10 yards to go. A couple things, and now I'm back. And you can hear my beautiful voice here for the third game of this Twitch chat. And Temple moving the ball down the field. Yeesha. The great, toughest temple fighting owls. Really disappointed they lost against Notre Dame. I can tell you that right now. Very, very disappointed. Nice run there. Gilmore picks up about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From the 30 yard line, it's second down. Really wanted Temple to go undefeated. I really wanted Memphis to go undefeated. I wanted to see an undefeated Temple and Memphis play each other in the the American Conference, just so the bowls or the, the um, playoff committee could just sit there and scratch themselves. Maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Goes to the back quickly. Off his hands, incomplete. And I do think, speaking, speaking of undefeated, I do think it's funny how I labeled Wisconsin as the easy team to go undefeated, making it to the Big Ten Championship. But it was, in fact, Iowa, and I never saw I never saw it. I really never saw it. Somebody. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Air Broncos just signed on with the quick statement, Packers suck. Yeah, I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked. I was, I can't even say I was shocked enough times. Not only did Denver work them on defense, they controlled the offensive line they ran on him Peyton Manning was able to throw wherever he wanted to throw it was a um it was shocking to me <laughs> I'll just go with that again I I I I I I don't know I mean, I'm glad for Peyton I like him so you know under heavy pressure. Ball is loose. Fumble. It's picked up by the offense. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could Definitely not. I'm not a Packer fan. Oh, I'm not a Packer hater. I'm not a Packer fan, though. 
Um, I had the Packer defense in my daily fantasy, and yes, they trapped the bet. I think I think it was only two points. Yeah, two points was all I got from it. Thought for sure they would be sacking and picking off Peyton. As Peyton in his old age would show his old age once again. Hell, I got 11 points off of him in Can uh, with, with Kansas City. Uh, when I took Kansas City's defense against him on Thursday night. But, uh, no. Nope, they worked him pretty good. They really worked him pretty good. Looks like Carolina, the last undefeated team in the NFC. From their own 27-yard for the tight end but they can't hook up well that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part and the bad news is there was no defender around if the pass was anywhere near him it could have gone for a big play Meyer is the punter it's away and it's a booming punt gets to about the 41 yard line So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Temple holds a field goal lead. Tackle made at the 50. On the tackle. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet hit away. Hit my mic and myself and everything about it. Went from talking to typing to forgetting where the microphone was. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. First down. Down. Cut. Swings it out there incomplete. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. All right, so here we go. As we've been going here before, every now and then get silent because I'm typing, texting, all that fun stuff. Got the whole uh, guy. I can't remember what the hell the dude's name is on ESPN now that always has those damn phones around him. The younger guy. The younger guy <laughs> today, he's like um, talking about his son being emotionless. And this dude, Shefty. There you go. Shefty. That's who I'm talking about. Shefty's sitting there talking about his son's emotionless. Or doesn't get emotional about things. And yada yada. I'm like, dude, you're so hyped up. He probably just... This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. Hashtag Sherikov. I'm not quite sure where that one comes from. But why not? That's Sherikov. I've got a Coke. I'm sitting at my kitchen table right now. But I drink from every now and then. Every day. Sometimes I drink water, sometimes I drink Coke. It really all depends on how bad uh, what my voice is doing. If it starts waning thin, then we're... We go to the water. We've got a first and two. We're all right. We're go. We're all right. We go. There we go, Clement. Corey Clement. Got to take it. See, this is this is where Wisconsin easily can take over the game. Just start. Just start. Uh, Ogendal, Wale, and um, Clement. Just shove them straight down the owl's throat. And just work it from here. Now this, with a win here, we're gonna have Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Northern Illinois gonna be straight to YouTube. Should be an Oklahoma win. 
I'm feeling pretty confident that I will get this region completely correct. So far, thanks to the Florida State win over UCLA, me and Snug are tied for the lead in the brackets. And this is going to be an online dynasty. Oh, great. Temple play, it's off. Stavi doing jack. So, um... Christopher is so yeah, so what's going on with, with the brackets is the fact that this is an online dynasty. Or online. Offline dynasty. I wish it was an online dynasty. Anyways, I did set up a playoff for my dynasty one year. It was, it was a pain in the butt to try to set up. So we only did it one year. Um, but God, uh, thanks to this editing, we could have actually made a playoff if I had this editor back then. Um... From their own 10 yard and seeing that support is basically First gone for this game, I, it, you can't really play online dynasties point anymore, but that's besides the point. Here he goes. He's taken down at the 24. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. First down. So with our offline dynasty, uh, year after year, it's going to end in a 32-team tournament. And next season, we will start at the end of this 32-team tournament, which is probably about four weeks from today. will be the end. Or four weeks from Wednesday, actually, will be the end of this tournament. It starts season two, and at the end of season two, we'll have another 32-team tournament. This, of course, is a continuation of the po of the postseason I started 2014 in which uh, Florida State beat Ohio State in the national championship, which I completely forgot when, when we were, um, when we did the Florida State-UCLA game. Florida State, theoretically, in this universe, is actually looking for three straight national championships because we got two years ago the real-life Florida State beating Auburn in the last BCS championship. And then last po last year's postseason was actually where I picked up the 32-team playoff in which Florida State went through the 32-team playoff to beat Ohio State in the national championship. So, yeah, Florida State's actually working on three straight national championships. They almost did lose to UCLA. One point being down 9-0. But in the fourth quarter, they did take the lead 15-9 and eventually won 26. Yeah, 26 to 9. Gets to about the 44 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. And this is the eighth play of the drive. quickly and it's almost intercepted number four on the coverage third down third down now and they need to get it down to the 36 they go with a screen here and the halfbacks got it and he's level at the 35 I don't think Nebraska Nebraska did not make it after one quarter yeah, play, this playoff I don't think they made it last year Oh yeah, they did. They yeah, they did. They lost. Actually, lost the hail mary last year. They were in. They lost in the first round to Ole Miss on a hail mary. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Gains his way to the 19 yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. Set Oklahoma. Motion, motion, motion. Even though they didn't 
and sack him. The pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket. Yeah, what that Miami Duke game that just getting the ball to his playmaker. That was horrible. Great game. Temple is up by three. You know, great ending. Except for the fact that now we got blocks in the back all over the place. Dude's knee was down. I don't think that will be as fondly remembered as the fifth down. I mean, the fifth down. The fifth down is just one of those things that, that now is in, um, in that part of a memory... It's almost looked at as like nostalgia. I, mean, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know many people who, who um, look back at the fifth down with just absolute hatred for the refs, uh, with exception of Missouri fans, I'm sure. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Maybe even some Georgia Tech fans. I believe Colorado that year tied Georgia Tech for the national championship. I think that's what, it, what that, that year was. But it's just one of those funny. It's just one of those funny things. The fifth down, and it was that was a horrible. The fifth down. Like, if there was no such thing as replay, what happened to Duke? Won't be that big of a deal. Uh, missing the block in the back. Well, there's no such thing as replay. The block in the back would have stood. Now that I think about it, but that's besides the point. Um, Gets to about the 47 yard line. But. Uh, anyways, sorry, typing at the same time. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. So, it, let, let's just say they didn't call the block in the back. Let's just, you know, they, they missed the dude kneeling. If there was no such thing as replay, that would not have been that big of a deal. Uh, the replacement refs, the, the fail Mary. Um, He's at the 30, and he tackles him hard. That, in all seriousness, that sort of is along the lines of, of the fifth down, as far as I'm concerned. Um, ish. Fifth, <laughs> the fifth down is, is just worse in all, all, all respects because it wasn't, it's not a live ball it's not trying to figure out if somebody caught the ball or not it's not figuring out if the knee hit first it's not figuring out it's not figuring out a damn thing the only thing it is is counting downs dudes have a rubber band on their hand and at every down they move the rubber band cross the first finger is first down cross the middle two fingers is second down cross the pinky is third down across the whole fist is fourth down they don't look to the cha chains crew. That's just, I forget who it is that, that has that. I think it's I think it is one of the line judge that has that rubber band. I don't think it's the umpire. But it's not. It's just it's down. The play stops. You move the. He splits the uprights with the extra That is horrible. But it's still looked at as not as bad as, there, as some of the other bad calls have been in, in the world. And also, that is the absolute worst phone, worst call in the world. I I don't mind people missing stuff that happened in real life. Big you know, big speed you know, big speed and all that fun stuff. Big speed, whatever. Whether that means finish the game or finish the try. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the you know, the fail Mary is another one. Just, it, it's hard to determine who had the ball going down. Of course, if somebody just reached in there and grabbed the ball and said, touchdown. And they make the stop at the 25. The onside kick 
the Oklahoma Oregon onside kick in which the ref dove into a pile which the ball wasn't in, uh, in and just just randomly awarded it to Oregon when a guy about five yards back had recovered the ball for Oklahoma that's horrible But if there was no, this is what I guess I'm getting around to. If there was no replay, what happened to Duke is not a big deal. Where it gets outrageously bad is just the fact that somebody actually took apparently nine minutes, and I'm not quite sure. I still don't know. I I, I need to look up and see what exactly happened. Like it, earlier, I was I was saying that ESPN had said that the nine minute. Um, instant replay delay was due to the fact that they were looking for they were looking to see if the block in the back was in fact a block in the back now there were a couple block in the backs but of course if you go to instant replay to look for the block in the back you must look at the one that was called from the 36 yard line it's first down so the other block in the backs weren't reviewable what was reviewable because it was a scoring play. What was reviewable is if anybody's knee was down while they were touching the ball. Which, clearly, dude's knee was down. But then again, the whole the whole point was they, they might have been concentrating more on the block in the back. It's just it, it just real bad. It just the the instant replay. It's third down and they're about two yards shy. Of the I think the funniest thing about what everybody <laughs> about instant replay is they almost assume instant replay means non fallible which it totally is. Obviously, we just we, <laughs> we just had that. Just had the, the Dallas Seattle game. A dude's butt cheek coming down from one angle, it looks like he was in. From the other angle, it looks like he was short. Kicks away, and he got it. Obviously, those two things cannot be true. Meyer is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks but I do like instant replay. It was just one of those things that 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 was. This one's going to be down in the It's end one thing when you get the, the the call wrong on the field. At real-time speed, it's another thing to get it wrong when you're sitting there looking at a damn video. And who knows what the guy had, what the video the guy had to be looking at. I mean, for years, the NFL just had standard definition underneath their little peep show thing. The NFL billion-dollar corporation, the NCAA billion-dollar corporation. Or billion dollar, not corporation, but billion dollar organization for both. So, doesn't help Duke at all. Duke, you know, Duke's got to go out there and beat you, you know, going to have to beat UNC fair and square. We'll see if it costs a divisional championship, which would suck. Kind of I'm doing a great job hanging in here against Wisconsin. However, Wisconsin eventually will probably will, will, will run them away. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 40 yard line. Yeah, I'm still not sure. He is, like I said, ESPN the said that the, that the nine-minute review was because of they're reviewing a block in the back. 
Um, which then, which as I said, if they review a block in the back, the only thing that they can review is that block in the back. So if there were 10 other block in the backs that the, that the officials missed, and the one block in the back that they caught was in fact a legal block, then it was a legal block. However, since it was a scoring play, whether the dude's knee was down at any moment in time in the whole play, that is reviewable. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset and they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. And once again, it's only if the block in the back. I, I, who, who the hell knows? This passing game can be very have to look that up. If you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. No, I think about it. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From their own 41-yard line, first down. They'll knock him down for a loss. The Owls are going to call their second timeout. He wants it all. No, oh, oh, that almost was picked off. Temple's just trying to give away this game. They've done a great job. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. And he's tackled around the 48 yard line. Hmm. Interesting. The other thing I pulled up. Why the officials botched the ending of the Miami Duke game. This ought to be interesting. He's under pressure. He's on the run. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Receiver on the play. That makes it second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. All right. Before, okay. Play was under review, of course, because it was a scoring play. But before the review, the officials announced that Miami had committed a block in the back penalty during the play. After one review, the referee stated that the play was still being reviewed. After the full review, he announced that there was no knee down by a Miami player. So they actually did look at the knee. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some... But the block in the back actually... Had been from the side. Consequently, the flag was picked up. Miami won. Limitations of reviewable plays. Article 6. Yes, I know. Great, great football. Or great, 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 great uh, commentating. Doesn't matter. No other plays or officiating decisions can be uh, are reviewable. How? Okay. No other plays or officiation, officiating decisions are reviewable. However, the replay official may correct egregious errors, including those involving the game clock, whether or not a play is reviewable. This excludes fouls that are not specifically reviewable. Reviewable fouls, yada yada. There's articles. This one will fall incomplete. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going for the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants. So they reviewed the block in the back as part as being a reviewable, a egregious error. He airs it out. Picked off. Except for the fact that penalties are not reviewable regardless. Six penalties can be reviewed, obviously, pass beyond the neutral zone, forward pass, change of possession, illegal kicking, blocking, 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchdown. Yeah, and targeting. He's had a lot of success running the ball today. Well, this is what these guys like to so do. So the whole thing is egregious errors can be reviewed, but not blocking the backs because it's a penalty. Has such powerful legs, as we've seen all day today. An arm tackle is not going to bring him down. You've got to get in front of him and wrap him up to have any chance of slowing him down. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And he's finally taken down at the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Wisconsin holds a four-point lead. Nice run to the outside. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. That brings up second and goal. From the one-yard line, second down. Touchdown, Badgers! And Wisconsin goes up. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And he converts the extra point. So a four-play, 76-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Badgers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here. Ooh, ooh, what am I doing? There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They try to get a head start there. False start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, All right, so 17-6, Wisconsin trying to pull away to make sure that I can keep my undefeatedness here in this region. This would be the central region. This is the Oklahoma region. Uh, all I can see now is my straight-to-YouTube game, Oklahoma versus Northern Illinois. I can just almost see Northern Illinois for some reason pulling it off. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. P.J. Walker, 7 for 25. So, completion percentage extremely down. I mean, overall, they're doing a great job hanging in there. From their own 43-yard line. So, it is interesting, that article, saying that the, 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 the Fox um, commentator said... It could be the, the um, Got an opening. and I think I heard that before. The, the, the replay can be used to to correct an egregious error. Um, I did hear that before because the the, the ball hit the line, um, one of the guiding wires for that the, the um, camera that that's over the the field, and they got on to look at the instant replay to see. Um, if it hit it, and they, they did the right decision, they, they called for a re-kick. Ball on the 43. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. But yeah, I get the um, egregious error cannot be used, and it says specifically cannot be used to correct a penalty that that is not reviewable. So I mean, it, it's an egregious error. If a dude mauls the wide receiver going up for a touchdown that was a nice little pooch kick right there and that's why they made and you don't catch the pass interference but you know what it's too bad it cannot be reviewable this team really trusts their defense 
it's early in this game, so the defense could still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around and oh, early, Clement right up the middle. The psyche of that defensive line. This is Wisconsin's type of game. They're trying to move on to play Florida State. Second round of the playoffs. I assume Oklahoma will go on, so this region should have... Um, well, if this holds out, we'll have Florida State play... Or, sorry. Yeah, we'll have Oklahoma playing TCU and Florida State playing Wisconsin as long as this region holds out. As long as this game holds out and... Oklahoma doesn't meet a horrible, horrible, fiery death against New, uh, against Northern Illinois. It's third and ten. Ball on their own thirty-two. Stavi has been absolutely horrible lately throwing the ball. Speaking of which, there we go. So they're letting. They are definitely letting. Temple. Get into this one. Christopher, back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. He showed a good burst there. Three minutes 52 seconds to left to go in the third quarter. PJ Walker has been horrible throwing the ball, but so is Stavi, so it doesn't matter. The biggest, the biggest difference is, of course, 240 yards by Corey Clement. Not to the fullback, and he can't pull it in. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. And that is that. <laughs> that's what Wisconsin's had to lean on. Uh, they haven't had. They haven't been in too many close games, and uh, what wound up happening was they got in a close game in the Big Ten championship. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat. And he sometime after the after halftime, you know, close game against a extremely good team, and they just folded. Temple is not an extremely good team. Gets rid of it quickly. Oh my god, I can't believe we caught that ball. I cannot believe that was on target. The combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's definitely getting nervous here about <laughs> 9 for 29. I'm definitely getting nervous here about my Wisconsin pick. I do not believe he's taken down at the 31 yard line. I have Wisconsin beating Florida State in the next round though. I could be wrong. Oh, I do have Wisconsin beating Florida State. Yuck. That brings up second and five. From the 26 yard line. Second down. Those Temple's a hell of a lot better than I think they are. Here they come. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. I don't quite know if Wisconsin's gonna be able to get through Florida State if. If they can hold on here. Oh, that's going to be picked off. Really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need. Man, they are. They are saving. First down. Absolutely saving. Wisconsin here in Stavie. It out to about the 24 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. 35 to the right. He's out. You do have Oklahoma. He's to the 40. Going, oh, there we go. Eventually he was going to break free, and now we got 300 yards. So Wisconsin looking good finally, 24-6 against the Temple Owls. Wisconsin, the kick. We'll run through my brackets here just for just for 
giggles here as we start getting this pulled away. My brackets. This region, I do have Wisconsin and Oklahoma meeting in the regional final with Oklahoma actually winning. This quarterback can make good in the passes. West region, he just needs to focus on not and which our second round games will nice include, we already have played the West. Our West region has Oregon. Well, Oregon will play will play Notre Dame. Ohio State will play USC. In that region, I have predicted Oregon will or uh, Ohio State will be Oregon in that region final. PJ, he's just—he can't throw the ball. He's just gonna run it. He's gonna pull Cam Newton. Yeah, if I'm not being accurate, I'm just gonna run this damn ball. In the other region, the South region that we played, Georgia will play Texas A&M. Arizona will play Miami. I have Texas A&M and Arizona actually in the regional final. With Texas A&M winning. So, so far, I have all my regional finals still alive. Here's an opening. He lost Wisconsin the right and now would be the only one that the is up in the air for now. Um, but I think they're going to pull it off here. Wednesday will be our... Wednesday on Twitch will be our um, north... Region. Tackle made right around the 20. And I got Michigan State playing Alabama in the regional final. Short yardage situation here. With Michigan second State and winning. One. And I need to spell Louisville correctly. I for some reason left out an L. Which Inside sucks because that was copied throughout everyone's bracket seven. who put Louisville. Third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure I don't know how many, pe how many other people picked Louisville over no Auburn. I think it probably was the only the one. So that might be a, a fairly cor easily correctable mistake. So at the end of three, Wisconsin leads 24-6. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Gilmore picks up about four yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. He scrambled. He's got the two. No, I'm definitely not the only one who picked Louisville. Temple lines so up for the Temple kickoff. comes back to within 10. He sends this More one interesting spelling issues than... Anything else right now? In the end zone for a touchback. Temple's usually a very stout team on defense. I'm shocked if everybody who did these brackets, they complete. The they did not the inform me that I missed out Louisville. Guys. Right now they're back on their heels. Too funny. Almost looking confused. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's into the open field. He makes his way to about the 48. Yeah, and Clark Clement basically. A single season rushing record is within reach. Every carry on every down, this guy has been an absolute Not caring. He has an excellent workout regimen, and that helps him take all the punishment that he receives. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Gets to around the 42. Oh, yeah, Corey Clement right now is just running downhill at this point. It's second down Not going to be able to stop him. Down, down. 
And it was it was uh, Ole Miss that only had three. So that was, so our majority vote our majority in the in this region picked TCU. Majority picked Florida State, and the majority picked Wisconsin. So it looks like the majority will actually go undefeated in this region. Taking a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Now somebody had Temple going a long ways in this. I don't know who it was. Very interesting. Big play and it's first and goal. Trying to figure out where I am here. And this play is number eight on the drive. There we go, Auburn, Wisconsin. There we go. Louisville. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, Badgers. And for Clement, he's just set a new record for rushing yards in one season. Amazing. This is one of those individual milestones that's especially. There we go. 529 left to go. They're all enjoying this moment. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 74 yard drive. And Wisconsin trying to walk out of here and looking so for the majority win. 31 14. Meyer has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Who that nation's both showing on up here? So now both teams After gonna Drew Brees just crushing it in the NFL. And he's hit immediately. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. It's a bad play overall by the What in the world? The so the stream, to to what the hell? Work and try to execute. The problem is... The offensive line. So unfortunately, who that nation get get on in there and fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Fires it out. And he's taken down. What in the world? The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. The game is still going on. I have no idea what's going on here. They're showing Newton, so they did something wrong. What is the score? What is going on? Did Newton throw another interception? 26-23 in overtime. Wow. I don't know how the hell that happened. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. It's second and ten. Ball on their own. Wow, line. that's interesting. I, I, the stream started cutting on me, so I switched to, so I switched my iPad to my, to my um, to my stream just to to, to keep an eye on it because I figured I, I figured Carolina had it in the bag. Obviously, I was wrong. Damn. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Yeah, I got um I got pretty much whooped in the daily fantasy. Got Cam Newton was hoping he, he would put together a great a great game. And 
he's immediately tackled. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. And this is the Cam Newton. Ha you know, Cam Newton has a great game. I wind up actually winning money instead of this week. Seems like I go every other week. I, I, I'll he fights forward, win so money and then I'll lose it. And then I'll win money and then I'll lose it. Doesn't look to be that bad. And so I just hover from the ten yard line. At basically a wash. Oh my God! Gin just dropped another damn um, wide open touchdown. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. We're at the 12th play of the drive. End zone touchdown. And one of my lineups, I get, uh, one of my lineups, I do have Gin and uh, Cam. The right call in that situation. Oh, that, that kills me. Calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so that fast, kills me. That hurts. To tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. He makes the PAT. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Both these defensive coordinators have got to be going crazy right now. We've had four straight possessions in which these offenses have put points on the board. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Here's the halfback. They'll bring him down at about the 41. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. Just over two minutes in the game. So we're going to run this one out. I'll probably stay on to see the conclusion of this damn Carolina Indy game. The Owls taking their first time out of the half. Ten point lead should be safe here with two minutes left to go. Wisconsin, as I said before, will be playing. It can be a nightmare for a defense. Oh, sure. Gin can catch the damn the dude he's got line. hanging all on, on his First back, down. but can't catch a damn touchdown. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. The Owls using their third and final timeout. Taken down at the 26 yard line. That'll make it third and nine. So we're looking at another third down here. All right, 150. Yeah, this game may come to a conclusion, but I will continue go. I will continue streaming till the Monday night game is over. You know, whichever comes last, end of this game or end of the Monday night game. The who to that nation, thank you for, for bringing it up that, that the game wasn't over, for God's sake. It's funny, I always stream Monday night while, while I'm doing this streaming uh, because of the screw-ups on the, on the stream. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. The kick is up. And it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Overall, Temple's played a good game. I mean, I, I got to give it up to Temple for hanging in there. Excellent kick. I thought this was going to be an easy blowout. That's wrong. 
the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Passes to oh, the it's going to be picked way. off. Brought down at the 28. Wisconsin Big will continue. And this game's over. Hopefully they can just sit on it and get out of here. And I can turn it over to the football game. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Yes, in real life, I think Temple should have beat Notre Dame. I am all with you. I mean, Temple's a good game. It, 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 this, with this roster, Temple turns out to be a good, a good team. His reward for a solid performance is our player of the game honor. All right, so we're going to look at the stats here real quick. Temple did a good job hanging in there. It's three turnovers to no turnovers. That, that is what killed him. P.J. Walker, 16 for 42, 219 yards, one TD, three interceptions. And over on the Wisconsin side... Stavi didn't throw much and didn't do much. Six for 14, 52 yards. Thank God he didn't have to do do much. Clement, 389 yards in the on the ground. Three touchdowns. And that's all Wisconsin is. That is all they are. <laughs> 